This is Gadget Stop 321. In today's video, I'm going to do a workhorse fountain pen showdown between the Caveco Sport and the Caveco Percale. Now, the similarities and differences between these two pens seem pretty obvious, but there are some similarities and differences that are a little more subtle. So hopefully I can go over those in this video, and if you're trying to decide between these two pens, you'll have a little more information. Now, the Sport is obviously a pocket pen. Now, and I like it because it's not just a shrunken down, uh, standard looking fountain pen. There's some thought and it, that's gone into this design. It's small when capped, and when uncapped, it's not really, it's not gonna be usable for most people. I've got pretty small hands, so I can use this, but it's designed so that when you push to post, you get a full-size fountain pen, and you're not really making any sacrifices when you use a Caveco Sport pocket pen. Now, the Percale, even though it's similar in design to the Sport, is not really a pocket pen. It's a full-size pen with a snap cap. It also pushes to post, and it makes, when posted, it makes a very large pen. Now, this pen is very light, you can't hardly tell the difference between it being posted or not posted. And it has a good size length, so you can use it comfortably either way. Now, let's see. Oh, I was trying to screw the cap back on. One major difference between these two pens is the way you get ink into them. The Caveco Sport, I guess I should have left the cap off. The Caveco Sport, since the barrel is so small, is designed to use standard international short cartridges. And there's also a mini converter design that's made by Caveco for these, but they hold even less ink than the small cartridges. So what most people do is just use small cartridges or if you want to use bottled ink, get an ink syringe and use it to refill used cartridges. You get, And a lot of people eyedropper these. Um, the barrel is airtight, so with a little silicone grease and yeah, a little silicone grease, you can eyedropper fill this. I've never been really interested in eyedropper filling. I've never tried that, but I've seen, you know, tons of people do that. The Percale, which, since it has a longer barrel, you've got more options. It's a cartridge converter pin, so it will fit a standard international converter, so you can use bottled ink. It comes with, let's see, it came with, in the barrel, a empty standard international short cartridge installed and then behind it was a blue ink cartridge. So you can have an ink cartridge installed, have a spare behind it in the barrel. That's convenient. You can also use standard international long cartridges and like I said you can use a converter. You cannot however you cannot eyedropper these because you can't eyedropper the Percale because this little ring on the back, uh, there's a hole in there. And since this pen is primarily designed for kids, basically, um, they had to put a hole in the back to prevent the choking hazard. Um, so eyedroppering this pen straight from the factory is not an option. Um, the plastic, another difference is the plastic feels different between these two. The Sport, the plastic feels more durable, feels less fragile. It, with it being, I don't know how to describe it, I guess you would say it's a, a softer plastic with it being less fragile. 
one thing that does occur, um, you may be able to see it here, yeah, when you post it, it will over time leave a little ring, and I've never used the optional clip on this, but I have also heard that sliding the optional clip onto the cap can leave scratches and leave marks. Uh, but this is designed to be a workhorse pen. With it being soft like that, it's less likely to crack. Um, but the Percale, the plastic that it's made out of, does feel more fragile. So, you know, that's something to consider. It feels like a, a cheaper plastic. Um, but you, the Sport, you don't have to get in plastic. They also come in... Uh, met different metals. You can get aluminum, brass, copper. There's a stainless steel. Um, there's an alumi aluminum with carbon fiber trim. In the plastic versions, there are there's every color you can imagine. There's solid solid colors like this and uh, opaque plastics and clear demonstrator plastics so you just have tons of options with this and the price range there's something for every price range also the Percale comes in very limited color choices and most of the color choices are two-tone which I was never fond of but when they came out with this all black with black with a blacked out nib this this uh, color was appealing to me, so, um, but it only comes in plastic. That's your only option. Um, let's see. The grips are, are different on these two. The Sport has a concave grip, and with the plastic being a, a, a more robust feeling plastic. It's also not very slippery. It's it's what I would call grippy, and so it's it's a pleasant pen to write with. Now this cheaper feeling plastic is more slick, but fortunately the grip section is faceted, so that works out nicely. With my grip, my fingers just fit in there perfectly and it keeps the nib from wanting to rotate. I have another pen that has a slippery grip section and the grip section is round and I'm constantly having to adjust my grip but I haven't had that problem with the Procaio. Um, let's see and that's that's pretty much the similarities and differences between these two pens. I'm going to do a quick demonstration of, let's see, the difference in nib sizes. The Sport I have has an extra fine nib, and the Procaio has a medium nib. Now, I also want to show you, these don't have the exact same nib. There's a, a slight difference in the two. Let me hold this up so you can see. The nibs are shaped slightly different. Uh, the sport, you can exchange, you can switch nib units between pens, but the Procaio has a, a slightly different nib. But I've got an extra fine in the sport and a medium in the Percaio. So I just wanted to do a quick test of the if there's any difference in wetness between the two. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. There is a difference in smoothness. The medium Percaio is noticeably smoother. But you can get the Sport in a medium nib also. I'm going to test the wetness. Five. 
four, three, two, one. Okay, that's a fairly wet nib. And this is Marl Mom paper. It's not very absorbent, so it's pretty fountain pen friendly. Oh, I keep wanting to screw on the cap of the Procaio and snap cap the sport. Okay. This is the extra fine. And this was the medium. Five, four, three, two, one. Not a whole lot of difference in wetness. And I've kind of noticed that as I was writing with these two. And it could just be this ink. I'm using a uh, platinum black. And I've noticed these two write fairly wet. They're both both really comfortable pens to use. You can't go wrong really with either one of these. And if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.